Hello, Joe Neville here. In this video, I'm going to build a new Ubuntu 2004 server using Hyper-V as my virtualization platform. This is just a build I need for my home lab and I thought I'd record it. I use uh, Hyper-V for my virtualization just because um, it's actually running on It's Windows Server 2019. I actually built this prior to the dedicated Hyper-V uh, server coming out and I haven't rebuilt it. Okay, um, so I'll do it via the GUI to start with. I've got a bunch of VMs on there already. I'll show you how I've got this set up. So uh, what's interesting? Right, the V switch is of interest actually because I've only got a single NIC on this server. So here's my physical NIC there and I want the host operating system so the Windows Server 2019 to be able to use that NIC. To do that I've ticked allow management operating system to share this network adapter here and I've checked the VLAN ID and entered VLAN 2. So what that means is that the traffic coming off of the host, so the Windows Server 2019, that is tagged with VLAN 2. That means that it can use the NIC and so can the VMs. Okay, so that's vSwitch1. Let's start building the VM. Go to new virtual machine. And there, there's no kind of ordering for the VMs in this view, which is a bit annoying. So there, there's no kind of folder grouping. So what I tend to do, shout out if you know a better way of doing this, but I tend to place a, a letter in the front so that it will group them all together. I'll just call this one 2004-1, one, fine, hit next. Generation 1. I'm going to use dynamic memory for this virtual machine. Next, here we select the V switch. Okay, so here we've got the name. So this is going to be the virtual hard disk. Now I do store the disks elsewhere in here. So I'll select that folder. I'm just selecting a different location for the virtual hard disk. It doesn't need the um, default that is placed there. I'll just give it 20. And now I'll hit next. So uh, this is where we have to point to the ISO file. Here we are. I'll browse there and it is, which one's was? It is, I've put it in here. Okay. There we are. So it's Ubuntu 2004.1 latest version open there go okay it looks good creates our vm here now i'll go in before i boot it because it only gives you one cpu so i'll just bump that up to two and the other thing i like to do is that i know that this vm needs to sit on VLAN 199. So the host operating system is using VLAN 2. The VMs are using 199 for this particular network. I've got that all set up on my physical switch connected to this. So I set that there, apply that. Okay, I think we're good for that. And then I can start this up. There it goes and then Graphically, we can use this window to go through the install. Now we're into the supervised install. I just hit enter there, use the US keyboard, fine. I'm used to it. Okay, I'm not going to set the IP address here. I'm going to do that later. So I'll just leave it as DHCP v4. Press return. No proxy. Mirror address is fine. It picks up GB. Fine. Use the entire disk, yes. Hit done for that. This all looks good. No need to change anything there. This is where it asks you if you want to continue. Yes, I'll continue. So my name, I'll just have it as Joe. And we'll set it as just a simple name. UB2004-1. Pick a username that's going to be Joe and put in my password. done 
Okay, I need to SSH into this, fine, but I'm not going to import the identity. Done. Okay, I'm not going to add any of these features in. That will go off and do the install. So it's pretty basic install. Now it's saying it's downloading and installing the security update, so you can actually cancel that update and reboot, as it says there at the bottom, but I'm just going to let it run through. And uh, now we're on reboot, so a reboot. Then you get this message about failed unmounting. Um, if you check the media, it will already be unmounted. So you just hit enter there. Okay, now we have the login prompt. I will log in. And that's it, I'm up and running. So first thing I like to do is just up, run an update. and an upgrade, password again. Okay, that is done. So now, oh, actually what I'm going to do is there's no root user for this, which I'll need for later. So I'm just going to add that in. And now I will shut down. Now that the new VM is off, I like to close it off there. We can see it's down. And a good thing to do at this point then is to checkpoint it. So I hit checkpoint there and it says creating checkpoint. And we should see if we expand that. Yeah, so now I've got a checkpoint, which means that I can just roll back to, well, it's called revert. Let me show you if I right click here, you can see a revert. So if I, that's all ready to go, it's fully updated. Now I can do what I like with my Ubuntu server. And if I make a mistake, as I often do, I can just roll back to the checkpoint there by running revert. Okay, just a short video for this one. That's pretty much all I needed to do right now, but I will be using this server for more exciting tasks in the future, which I will also record. Thanks very much for watching. My name's Joe Neville and goodbye.